Hello and welcome to Hammers Chats, Your Shout. This is the show where you send me your clips recorded on your mobile phone. A little rant, something to sing about. Not a lot at the moment to sing about, I've got to say, but whatever your opinions are, you send them on to me. Now, before I start, I just want to say I don't tell people what to say. So the first ones are about the, the same subject. It's just obviously that's what's on people's minds. Just to remind you early on, this is not on the main Hammers Chat channel. This is on the second Hammers Chat channel. So please make sure you click that button in the bottom right hand corner as you're looking at it there just down there and you click that that will subscribe you and it'll alert you to any new videos that we do so without further ado the first one this is from for member olas and olas wants to talk about robert snodgrass so robert snodgrass should he stay or should he go ironically he was a player we tried to get when he was at leeds united back in the day and he's put some reasonable stints in for both norwich city and hull city indeed i spoke to a few norwich fans and they loved him when he was playing for their team uh, arguably though he was a big fish in a small pond uh, now he's at West Ham, he's 29, he's suffered quite a few injuries over his career and you can see the pace has certainly gone. Um, he was known at his previous clubs for set pieces, specifically on free kicks. Uh, we've yet to see that at West Ham, which is frustrating. His argument, I've been out on the left, I'm a right winger. Well, I'm sorry, Mr Snodgrass, Antonio is always going to be ahead of you on the right. Um, so, should he stay or should he go? Arguably the clubs that are in for him, Brighton, Newcastle, potentially that could be a good move for the player. But I want to recoup back at least what we paid for the player and arguably we need to get a replacement in. Don't know what's going on with the transfer situation. Onikuru, Treor, nothing quite yet happening on that front. But actually, focus for me is not on the winger situation. It's got to be the strikers. We desperately need two strikers. So guys, get your checkbook out, put the offers in and let's start bidding. Get your checkbook out and get the offers in, he says. So thank you very much for that, Olas. Next up is Tom. Tom also wants to speak about Robert Snodgrass. Hi, guys. I just want to talk about Robert Snodgrass. He's been an absolute terrible buy, in my opinion. Ridiculously bad. I think he was a panic buy at the time. And it's seriously, seriously backfired. The guy's not good enough for this football club. He's not good enough at all. I don't see anything from him that suggests that he's going to improve or become an important member of the team. Um, see no skill from him whatsoever. He's, he's got a complete lack of skill. Uh, he shirks responsibility on numerous occasions, which I really don't like. We see him in a great crossing position, and they pass it off to Byron. And he doesn't do that as a one-off. He does that time and time and time again. That's not good enough. That He is the experienced professional. That's not good enough. Lack of pace is frightening really is. He's the slowest player I've seen since Pascal Sigan at Arsenal, their old centre-half. He was disgustingly slow. Snodgrass is equally as slow, in my opinion. Uh, so not good enough. So we've got to find a way of getting rid, in my opinion. As harsh as it may sound, sound I don't like slagging off one of our players. I really don't. But he's not good enough for what we want to aspire to be. He's really not. Now my worry is who's going to buy him. We're hearing the promoted clubs are interested. All well and good. Are they going to be willing to pay Robert Snodgrass £60,000 a week that we're paying him? I'm not sure. And is Robert Snodgrass going to be prepared to take a pay cut? I'm not so sure as well. So, the scenario I would honestly take is somebody wants to loan him for a year, take him. Hopefully they're willing to pay him forty grand a week. I'd be prepared for us to pay the remaining 20 just to get him out the door, save 40k off the uh, wage bill. Happy days, everybody's a winner. Give him the old Spanish archer. Everybody's a winner. That's my opinion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, you too, Tom. Uh, he's come up with a financial solution that gets Snodgrass off the wage bill and hopefully frees up a bit of cash for us to buy Pascal Segan via the sounds of things. Next up is Kiwi Hammer, obviously all the way from New Zealand. Thank you very much for sending this in. So Reese Oxford's gone to Mönchengladbach. Hardwood Nordweit's gone to uh, Hoffenheim. I think these are two fantastic deals. Some would say that Oxford to Mönchengladbach is a bit of a stupid decision. Personally, I think it's a great decision because, as we all know, 
Um, the gaffer is trying to go for European football, so what better way to get at least one person out in Europe on loan? Um, then, of course, still no word about Inner Valencia, where he's off to. I did hear rumours that he could be going to Porto, um, and Bilic would offer him plus cash in exchange for Brahimi of Porto. Um, I don't think there's been any further developments on that one. The kits, as we all know, have been announced, and I've got a personalised away shirt on order. Um, the home kit, though, I'm... I'm going to love to hate it. I think, for me, this one's going to be a love-hate relationship, but hopefully, hopefully... It helps us get to a respectable position. I'm hoping for a top six finish at the end of the 17-18 season, but that's still a long way away. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what else I can really say. Giroud to West Ham, though. I think that's a pretty good deal. And um, Anarchio or Anacho, or however you want to say it. I think that's going to be a good one as well. Batshuayi to West Ham. So many great things happening at the moment. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons indeed. Now, uh, Giroud. A Kiwi Hammer mentioned Giroud, and I think that's going to be something that's going to come up a lot. Hopefully, things are starting to move. So when these things happen, or when these rumours happen, please do get your camera out, get your phone out, record yourself, give me your opinions, uh, send it to gonzohammerschat at gmail.com. It's gonzohammerschat at gmail.com. And then we'll put it on, and you can be on your shout as well. But he said he's uh, Kiwi Hammer spent... He's, what did he buy? A away shirt, a personalised away shirt. So I guess he's got Kiwi Hammer or something on the back. Shipped all the way to New Zealand. That's got to cost a lot of money, certainly. So well done you, mate. Um, next up, we've got Avit. Now, Avit, last time you might remember, somebody actually um, wrote into me and said, I really enjoyed that, particularly Crazy Tortoise Guy. So this is Crazy Tortoise Guy now, minus the tortoise. So maybe he's managed to sort something else out. Well, just a couple of things about the West Ham ladies. Um, Cameron Ray had a really good interview on the radio, BBC London Sport or something. Came across really well. And she did say the West Ham ladies, although they're under the umbrella of West Ham, they still have to be... OK, OK, yeah. They still have to be self-sufficient. Or not like the good life, you know, ain't got to grow carrots or anything like that. But they've got to look after themselves. They've also a word for it. It's just, they've got sustainability whatever that means. Anyway, they've got a bit have sustainability. So that means that West Ham are not going to just throw money at it just in case it all goes wrong. So here's the idea. What West Ham have done is got everybody else to throw money at the fans. So we have been offered the exciting opportunity to invest £2,500 to have two season tickets at the ground that's not been announced yet, and VIP seats, but mind you, I don't know what that is, you know, not an orange box, maybe a nectarine box or something like that. And you get to meet the players, and you, so the players, you just can't meet the players now, you've got to pay two and a half grand to meet the players, so that's a bit of a, you know, that's got to be a bit special, isn't it? And then um, also, they're offering you you can buy them for 15 grand, which I, I'm guessing you get a game that way, you know. So West Ham don't really want to spend any money on the West Ham ladies, but they want everyone... Anyway, the first person to do it, I think, I could be wrong, is the bloke who makes fizzy drinks, and it's going to be the energy drink of the West Ham ladies. And that makes West Ham ladies almost sound like a product now. Are they going to be a product? Are they going to be... Are they going to be Barbie West Ham ladies dolls for sale at Christmas and... Are their faces going to be on the fizzy drink that, you know, for all I know, makes you run around like a nutcase if you had too much sugar in it? Um, actually, they could do with someone running around like a nutcase on a pitch because, you know, might do better that way. Yeah, well, I just think it's a bit unfair that if they don't want to spend the money, why well, ask us to spend the money? That was it, really. Oh, that's my dog. Avit Hammer there, making a rod for his own back. He's appeared for a tortoise. He's appeared for a dog, with a dog. 
he's set the precedent now so next time I don't know I don't really know he's going to keep this going but it'd be interesting no he does know a lot about West Ham ladies he was actually writing um, for the official programme he was reporting and taking pictures of West Ham ladies went with them on tour so he knows a lot about that sort of thing next up is Belfast Hammer uh, Belfast Hammer he's Belfast Hammer and he's reporting all the way from Belfast hello guys this is Belfast Hammer uh, speaking all the way from Belfast uh, what I'd like to talk about is the situation regarding Sky. I think we have to wait to the middle of July to find out the Sky on BT to find out the television fixtures. Obviously ourselves over here in Belfast that causes all sorts of havoc. Uh, it would be nice if they sort of led them out further ahead. I understand as the season goes on you can't do that all the time as they have to sort of highlight the more important fixtures. But uh, it does seem to be quite condensed. Uh, I think there also should be a limit to the number of fixtures that are moved on Mondays, Fridays, Sundays, and everything except 3 o'clock on a Saturday. I think we suffered from very badly for that. I don't know what the statistics are, but I would like to find that out. Maybe our sort of uh, boffins could tell us that. Uh, regarding the new season, uh, very, very sorry that Nordved was sold. I think he wasn't given a chance. I think he wasn't really put in his right position. With saying that, he did have some stinkers uh, in his right position, as all of us guys from Belfast who ventured over the Liverpool game found out. Uh, and we, we saw him play several times, and to be perfectly honest, he wasn't really good, but there's still the potential that he might have been. Uh, now, the talk about Czech leaving is another concern, as I think he's one of our better players. He's a great professional, uh, apparently very good in the dressing room, apparently very good for morale, uh, a real leader in a time when we probably were short of leaders. Uh, Snodgrass, no loss if he goes, he's slow, he looked good on a very poor hold side. Uh, I think we're well catered for in that area as well. Urgently need a good striker, uh, the company Andy, who doesn't play many games. In fact, I think we need two strikers. We need a holding midfielder. The right back situation looks to be covered with Sabaleta. I hope so. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we all have hope for the new season. Uh, go into every season hoping that we do well enough in the league. And personally, to see us win something would be great. And I don't care what to say about the, the League Cup, whatever it's called at the minute. Uh, I would love us to win that. I would love us to win anything. And I think it's well overdue. I had a guy in Belfast today, the typical Man United fan, said, why do you support West Ham? Why do you love West Ham? I told them the truth that West Ham, it's a passion. They are a family. We are the team of soul. And that Man United were just over here, just glory seekers, uh, looking to sort of follow the teams that get trophies. But we have more than that. We have true love. So anyway, this is Belfast Hammer. I know... Typically, me have a little bit of a joke with it, but looking forward to a very good season. Thank you. Thank you very much there. That's Belfast Hammer. He's part of the Belfast Supporters Group. They come over to lots of games, as do Scandinavian Hammers. And his point at the start about the, um, the fixtures being moved, that's quite important to those guys. When anyone comes and follows the team for any distance, they need to book their hotels, their flights. It needs to be done as early as possible for them to get the best discounts, the best prices. So whenever Sky or BT do move these fixtures, it really does have a huge impact on our fans. So, um, yeah, you know, no, I, I totally understand where he's coming from there on that one. Um, finally, this is Nibbles. Nibbles has been on before. Nibbles wants... He's, he's not happy. He wants to talk about the goalkeepers. He's, he's angry. He's ready to erupt. Hi guys. Uh, I'm just chilling here with old Mount Vesuvius behind me. And it's got me thinking. This is a dormant volcano. And it got me thinking about how dormant we've been so far in the transfer market. Now, we all want to talk about strikers and we need a new striker or possibly even two. And uh, obviously it's on my mind as well. But after watching the uh, Hammers chat video the other day with uh, Gio, Tom and the other chap, I was thinking about goalkeepers. I've been thinking about them a lot recently. Now we've got two, in my opinion, at best, second-rate goalkeepers. 
We need a number one, really. You would think that Adrian, as a fan alluded to the other day, um, would become better uh, with age. But he hasn't. Now, I don't know if that's the defence's fault or if it's him, but I think we need a decent keeper. Um, I haven't heard a lot about Pickford recently, but I would pick Pickford over Hart because Hart has a lot of mistakes in him, I think. Not taking away that he's a decent keeper, but I want more than decent. I want a good keeper. Pickford is younger, and if uh, what we've seen in the press is true, then I think he's the better shout. So I'm going for Pickford, hopefully for our new goalkeeper. But we'll see. Knowing our luck, we probably won't get a goalkeeper this transfer window. Anyway, come on you irons. Thank you very much, Nibbles. We had to come on you irons. He sort of led battles where he might fall into the volcano at that point. Um, Al Avit earlier, he made a bit of a rod for his own back. He started with a tortoise and now he's gone to a dog. I just feel that Nibbles there, he's done a dormant volcano, which sort of means next time he's going to up the game, it really needs to be an active volcano or something like that surfing a tsunami or something like that but he's he's, he's set a, he's set the bar quite high there reporting next to a volcano but thank you very much to everybody that sent in all their clips i want you to do the same there's not been a lot of news around west Ham, so hopefully i mean you might want to talk to me about Traore, about Giroud, maybe one of the signings will be done um oh, on the <laughs> i wish i'd have written it down now on the on the Akuru, on the Akuru, something like that um the outgoings, anything like that, maybe the lack of transfer activity, that sort of thing. So please do film yourself, send it to me, gonzohammerschat at gmail.com. We'll probably have a cup of tea coming out during the week where myself and G will be discussing all that sort of, well, hopefully much the same thing that you're going to be sending your clips in. So keep an eye on that. A massive thanks once again to Noble Holidays. They're our new sponsors on this. So if you want to take a trip to Spain or, or a volcano even. So they're, they're the guys. He's a West Ham fan as well. Noble Holidays. I'll put the link below. Please send in your clips. Don't forget to subscribe. Press that button down there. We've got a big competition coming up for this channel as well. Loads and loads of prizes. There's other videos all around. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.